Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at every LEGO Star Wars set that is due to retire in 2024. Now this is a full list that is up on BrickFanatics.com. Um, the website is really reliable. Usually the LEGO sets that are on there do tend to retire when they say. So we're going to just take a look at the list and go through each and every one of those LEGO sets that are retiring. So starting this off, we can see we have set 40615, the Tuscan Raider which retails for £10 in the UK, $10 in the US, €10 Euros in Europe. This actually came out on January the 1st of only this year, so by the time it retires it'll have been out for about two years, which is probably about right for a Brickhead set. Next up we have set 75257, the Millennium Falcon. Now this is the version I do believe that's kind of from, is it the Rise of Skywalker version, because it came out in 2019. So yeah, it's probably about time for all this Lego set to retire. It's been out for a fair few years now. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this one finally going and maybe making room for uh, another big Lego set that maybe a clone Lego set, maybe a, a turbo tank or some kind of Lego set like that. Something that fans really want. Next up we have set 75290, which is the Moss Eisley Cantina. I talked about this in one of my previous videos that this is actually my idea for one of the best Lego investments that you can make uh, going into next year. The set came out in 2020, so again it's been out for, a, by the time it retires, it will have been out for about four years, so quite a while, but then again it's a really expensive Lego set. So not many people will be hoarding this Lego set if you are thinking of getting it as an investment. But even if you're just getting it for your own your own collection, this is one fantastic Lego set. I just absolutely adore the Moss Eisley Cantina. The uh, Lego set is just so well designed and it has one of the best, if not the best, lineup of minifigures in any Star Wars Lego set ever. Next up we have set 75304, the Darth Vader helmet. Um, this came out in 2021 of April. Um, yeah, it's a pretty decent helmet. The only thing that really attracts me to it is the fact that it's Darth Vader, arguably the main character from Star Wars, very well known around the world. So if you're thinking of a Lego investment in terms of uh, one of the Lego helmet sets, this is probably should be at the top of your list. Next up is set 75308, the R2-D2. This is the buildable version, I do believe. Um, really high retail price for what you're getting, in my opinion. Um, yeah, definitely one that I'm not too bothered about seeing going. Next up is set 75313, the AT-80. This is the UCS version. Absolutely amazing Lego set. I absolutely adore this Lego set. It just looks phenomenal. One of the best ever looking Lego Star Wars sets ever made. Next up we have set 75333, the Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Starfighter. Big fan of this Lego set. I would really prefer the Lego start going around this kind of um, price range. I think it's just, it makes it really attainable. It's a really well selling Lego set, I just really like it. And the minifigures are also quite good, including that torn Wii minifigure, which is exclusive to this Lego set. Next up is set 75341, Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. This is basically another UCS version. Um, it's okay, I'm not the biggest fan of this Lego set, simply because we've just had so many Luke Skywalker Land Speeders over the years. Um, we're kind of a bit sick of them, so yeah, not too fussed to see this one go. Next up we have set 75344, Boba Fett's Starship Microfighter. Um, yeah, really poor Microfighter in my opinion, and the minifigure isn't actually that great. Next up is set 75345, the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Um, again, this is another Lego set I talked about in one of my previous videos as a Lego investment. Pretty good. Clone Trooper Battle Packs tend to sell very well. And it only feels like this one just came out, to be honest. So, yeah, shame to see this one go. And then following that set, we have set 75346, the Pirate Snub Fighter. Really poor Lego set, in my opinion. I, I don't think these have sold very well at all. And it's probably, you can kind of guess that, it came out in only summer of this year. So we'll have only been out for about a year and a half. And next up is set 75347, the Thai Bomber. I do actually quite like the Lego set, although I do feel like it's probably £10, $10 overpriced for what you're getting. And as you can see, these we've got a few new additions here. So um, the website was only updated by Brick Fanatics on the 10th of December. So very recently has this been updated and put onto the list. It's set 75348, the Mandalorian Fang Fighter, the TIE Interceptor. Yeah, I'm actually quite a big fan of this Lego set. I think the TIE Interceptor 
is a really cool build. I've got one on display, very happy with it. The Mandalorian Fang Fighter though is a little bit lackluster. Next up is the Clone Commander Cody helmet, set 75350, and this one only came out in March of this year again. I am surprised to see this one on the list because um, I, th I feel like the Cody and Rex helmets have sold fairly well, um, but I could be wrong, so yeah, it'd be a shame to see these ones go. Next up is set 75351, the Princess Leia Bausch helmet. Uh, again, this one was released with the Rex and Cody helmets, so yeah, um, this one's going to be leaving this year, but I'm not too bothered because I don't think it's the best Lego set. Then next up we have set 75352, Emperor's Throne Room Diorama. I do quite like the Lego set. I feel like it, it looks quite good on display, but it's, again, another Lego set that's just so overpriced. Next up is set 75353, the Endor Speeder Chase Diorama. This one's actually a little bit cheaper than the Emperor's Throne Room Diorama, at least, but um, I don't think this one is anywhere near as popular as the Throne Room Diorama. Next up is set 75354, the Coruscant Guard Ship. Um, yeah, really shocked to see this one on the list. It hasn't got one of the... Um, little new icons next to it but i don't remember seeing this when i checked only a week ago so I, I think this is new a new addition to be honest next up is set 75356 the executor superstar destroyer another one really shocked to see this on the list i feel like it sold quite well um i wouldn't be surprised if they take this off list for retiring for next year and maybe keep it on until 2025 and the same with the ghost and phantom 2 i can't believe this one is on the list only came out in September of this year, so it will only have been out for about a year and three months um, by the time it retires. So yeah, shocked to see this one on the list. Next up is set 75358, the Tinu Jedi Temple. Again, this one came out in June of this year, so a little bit surprised to see this on the list, but I don't think it sold that well because it is very overpriced for what you're paying. Next up is set 75359, the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Really surprised to see this one on the list. I know I've said that for a few now, but I am shocked to see this one on the list. It only came out in August of 2023, so August of this year. Um, I really like this battle pack. I don't get what people hate about it. I think the mini figures are quite good, and that swamp speeder is... I think it's really good for what you're paying. Next up is set 75360, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. And again, this one was released in the Summer Wave, along with the Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Not a fan of this Lego set. Again, very overpriced, and it was a really lazy inclusion. Uh, I don't know why they had to remake it, because they basically made it piece for piece like the older version. Next up is a new inclusion, set 75361, the Spider Tank. Another Lego set that came out in August of 2023. And I think it is quite a poor Lego set. The only thing that is really likeable about the Lego set is that Bo-Katan minifigure. Definitely worth picking up because actually a lot of the value of this spider tank resides in that minifigure. So for investing purposes, that one, that minifigure is definitely one to keep an eye out for. Next up is set 75363, the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter Microfighter. A little bit of a tongue twister that one, isn't it? Um, yeah, came out in August of this year. Not going to be sad to see this one go, and I think the inclusion of the Rex Microfighter for 2024 is going to be very welcome. Then we have set 75364, the New Republic E-Wing versus Shin Hattie Starfighter, which is going to be going in the September 1st. Um, yeah, I feel like that one has sold pretty well. The minifigures are very good. It was part of the Ahsoka wave. Um, out of all the Ahsoka Lego sets, oh, it seems like Ahsoka's T6 Jedi Shuttle isn't on the list. How fun is that? So that's the only one that's not due to retire in 2024. But then again, um, the, the Ahsoka sets could easily stay on for another year. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Next up is set 75365, the Yavin 4 Rebel Base. This one I don't think is selling very well at all. It was very overpriced for the actual quality and substantiality of the build. The minifigure, the minifigure selection was actually quite good. It came with quite a few minifigures, none that were particularly impressive on their own merits. But yeah, as an actual Lego set, it came with a lot of minifigures. So you, I guess you can't knock them for that. But um, yeah, I just don't think this one has sold very well at all. So not surprising to see this on the list at all. Next up we have the three Summer Wave mechs, those being Darth Vader, Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper mech. A little bit surprised to see these on the list, but um, yeah, not too sad to see these ones go. Although I do quite like the Boba Fett mech because the minifigure included is very good. 
And then we have set 75371, the Chewbacca. This is the buildable version. And I can hear you through the screen right now absolutely cheering and rejoicing because this one is just so hated for the price and just the look of it is just, it's terrible. It really is a horrible build. I don't think barely anyone's bought it and I wouldn't be surprised at all to start seeing this Lego set at like 50% off. So yeah, there we have it guys, all the Lego Star Wars sets that are due to retire in 2024. There was quite a fair few new additions. Um, yeah, surprised to see some of the Ahsoka Lego sets on the list, such as uh, the Ghost and Phantom 2, even the Executive Super Star Destroyer and the Coruscant Guard gunship. Um, yeah, that, that one I am surprised at because I feel like you either, it's kind of like Marmite that Lego set, you either love it or hate it, I hate it, but then um, some people do love it. So surprised to see that one on the list along with a few others but yeah 2024 is shaping up to be a good year for lego star wars both in terms of just buying lego sets and investing so some good lego sets to keep an eye out for that look like they're going to be leaving shelves next year